Okay, welcome to Skinny TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team and some other Black Stars players that need to know updates from their camp. One former coach for FC Bayern Munich, he has shown interest in coaching the current Black Stars team. It is interesting. After coach Chris Hilton was sacked, um, you know, a new roadmap has actually been provided with criteria as to who can become the next coach for the Black Stars team. And according to reports coming in today, one former Bamini coach who has coached Wolfsburg won a lot of trophies. He says he wants to coach the Black Stars team. We will talk about him. He is also a former player. So what he has done as a player and also as a coach. We will talk fully about him in this update. We will also look at Daniel Mate. Yes, he has also spoken. We will check it out as well. Mohamed Salisu and um, Richard Ofori and some other updates that we will talk about in this update. Before then, anytime you want to take your time and drop us a like. Like the video for me, please. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Put us some post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to be notified and also enjoy this update. If you are talking and comment in the comments below, I also try and give some shout out to those who commented under the last video in this one. So stick and stay for that. This video is also brought to you in collaboration with Pay and Germany Transfer. Anywhere you are based in Europe, being it Denmark, um, Netherlands, Italy, Spain, and you want to send money to someone based in Ghana here or any part of Africa, just visit payangel.com. I'll leave the link in the video description and the comment box. Go there, sign up for yourself. Use Uskani as a referral. In the first transaction, you'll be given a bonus for yourself. Anytime you send money, it is also free of charge on Pay Angel Money Transfer. This is the fastest and the best way to send money for someone who is based in Ghana. If you have not registered, go there and register. If you are registered already to start sending money and you get a bonus for yourself anytime you make transactions on the Pay Angel Money Transfer. Now, let's quickly jump into it. No time to waste on this channel. Let's begin from some Black Stars players. Then we come to the coach who is ready to quit the Black Stars team. Only if it will be given to him. Well, we will talk about that as well in this video. Daniel Mate is one player who was really trending when the Black Stars team was in Ivory Coast. And now we are no more there. So yes, the trends has really come down. According to a lot of multiple reports, the player was unhappy at camp because he was not getting playing minutes. Two, they said that he had some kind of altercation with the coach and some other people. Three, he had also deleted anything Black Stars on his official Instagram post. And he has spoken to Happy FM, which was quoted by Ghana Soccer Net today. According to them, this is what um, Daniel Mate actually said on Happy FM today. I love Ghana, and whatever I am, um, and whenever I'm invited, I will come and play. We thank Ghanaians for supporting us. We are really um, sorry things didn't go as we wanted. All we can say is we thank them for supporting us, said Daniel Martin on Happy FM. So according to them, he has apologized for how things went and he is also ready to represent Ghana any day, any time. So those news that um, Amati wasn't ready to play for Ghana and other things, according to this, he is not thinking of that. He is ready to represent Ghana if he is invited to play for us. And that is it also for the defender. Now, let's talk about Black Stars goalkeeper Richard Ofori. According to conversation that went on in the studios of Pure FM, that is yesterday, yes, because I saw the news this morning. Um, He had a conversation with his former teammate at Wild Stars, that is Maxwell Bakon. And per the conversation, he told Bakon that, well, the ball that led to the second goal against Ghana in Ivory Coast, that is the more reason why Ghana we are out of this AFCON. Initially, he thought that the ball, which was hit by the um, Madaga, um you know Mozambican player actually hit a Ghanaian player so he decided to catch the ball but he was shouted at by some of the Ghanaian players that no leave the ball because he didn't touch anybody and by the time he wanted to leave the ball and um, you know the ball also touched his hand and went to corner which actually resulted in a goal against Blaster. So according to him, it wasn't really his fault. He was ready to catch the ball, but there was some kind of miscommunication. Also, the pitch wasn't all that good. Let's check out this short video. After that, we will talk more. I want this idea. I want this idea. Because... Because... <clears throat> so you will be a player in Nibia. One of me boy. I think I'm going to go back to Okay. So more because of Wild Stars Day, so more very good relationship. See, what Baku told me is according to Ofori to say, pitch nice a ball and bounce it. And the boy boy in the ball ball no no Ofori if he's a ball he can one player when your vision is. Ah, if he's a Kagani, if he's a Kagani, think about Chino. Think about Chino. And the way team say Jaino, you so Jaino, Chino is an a ball and bounce it. Yeah, na. A ball for Teonone. 
explanation or the man makes up a corner make kind of born in born inside. Okay. It's all no choice saying yet deliberate saying yes or say that. Because I was looking like time now here could tell me oh Jai born money coy and can be delay time for us to get a win. Then they get their thirty thousand dollars. So why would sudden in Sabe Bon I was tempting to believe say maybe just maybe I'm not saying for a fact it be a damn might be the cause. Because on no choice say yeah born born or no three say born born one gang here because a blocking if you can cry. So what he was trying to do, he says, how the end you are better preventable from going for a corner. Because he says, I'm going for a corner. And you are better advantage and say, born, bed, or better born. No, we, we stay in play. It's your mother, and I said, Jiku, I think Jiku was in the game. Jiku, the one other player. And it's, it, that's how it was. I'm at him. 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 According to no foreign explanation. I'm going to make sure I could do that. All right, yes. So that is it from the studios of Pure FM. Now, let's talk about, um, you know, Mohamed Salisu. And some quick ones before we move to the coach. Salisu has also returned to his club that is talking of AS Monaco today. I brought you updates that um, we have Semenyo who has returned. Inyaki has returned already, squad and assisted. You know, a lot of the players actually moved from Ivory Coast straight forward to join the various clubs. And that is it. So Salisu was also spotted today training with AS Monaco. And I also, also bring you a quick update. He didn't really perform well personally because I was expecting a lot from him as one of the best center backs we had before the tournament but he actually disappointed me so that is it also on salisu Mohammed. now let's talk about the coach who is ready to um actually coach the current black stars team yes his name is felix magath felix magath he's a former player for the german national team and also coached a lot of clubs in germany he also moved to england at a certain point in time but according to ghana soccer net they quoted today that the coach has shown interest in coaching the black stars felix magath has a great interest in the ghana national team his agent told ghana soccer net in an exclusive conversation ghana soccer net i've told you it is owned by um former communications director for the ghana football association that is mr ibrahim sanidara so sometimes what they talk about actually brings some outer of truth so according to them he has shown interest in coaching the current blasters team now this man currently he is 70 years old he was born on 26 july 1953 and um felix magath um wolfgang that is his full name wolfgang felix magath he was born in aschaffenberg that is in west germany his height is five feet eight inches he played as a central midfielder and also attacking midfielder his youth career he started as uh, at vfr Nikem, then he moved to TV Sisti Aschaffenbeck. Then senior career, he played for uh, Victoria Aschaffenbeck. He moved on to play for FC Sabrokin. Okay, he played 76 matches in there from 1974 to 1976. 76 matches, he scored 26 goals. Then he moved on to Hamega SV. That is where he played a lot of games. 306 matches and he scored 46 goals for himself. So total appearance at the club side, he played um, 382 and he scored 75 goals as a central midfielder and also attacking midfielder that is his playing days then international career he played for west germany 43 matches he scored three goals for them and that is it also for him now with his managerial career he has coached hamega sv as uh, fc nuremberg Werder bremen entrance frankfurt bayern munich and um, he has also coached vfb Wolfsburg, shaka 04 vfb Wolfsburg again fulham Shandong Lunen, that is in China, and Heta BSC is the last team that he coached in 2022. So after 2022, he is here to coach again, and that is it on him. His medal records stands like this. Men's football, he represented West Germany at the FIFA World Cup. He was a runner-up in Spain 1982, runner-up again in Mexico 1986. So twice he was a runner-up, and he won it. Um, he won the UEFA European Championship in Italy 1980 so he has one trophy for himself and run up twice at the FIFA World Cup stage now the most notable spell of his playing career was at Hamega SV as I said already where he did or he said a lot of records so he has to come back to coach a lot of teams now let's focus on his managerial career as a manager Magas um, he has quickly gained respect and become known for his hard grinding training methods laying heavy emphasis on discipline fitness and conditioning players gave him nicknames like 
Saddam, that is talking of Saddam Hussein because they say that his training are so, so vigorous and they have never seen some before. But he moved on to coach, um, that is VFV Stuttgart, and he won the UEFA a total cup in 2002. He went on to coach Bayern Munich in 2004 up to 2006 when he won the Bundesliga twice in that region, 2004-2005. He won the Bundesliga, 2005-2006, he won the German Bundesliga. DRB Poka, he won it 2004-2005, 2005-2006. Then DFB Liga Poka, 2004, he won it for himself. He moved on to Uzbek and won the Bundesliga in 2008-2009. Individual German Football Manager of the Year, 2003, he's won it. 2005, he's won it. 2009, he has also won it. So three times, he has won the German Football Manager of the year for himself so it's also that he's a manager um who is that experience he spoke about his managerial skills and how he approached games how his coaching style is when he was unveiled as a manager for heta bsc in the year 2022 and this is what he has to say discipline belongs to sport especially team sport i have learned that over the years and i'll be asking for that for my players here at heta i don't do it for myself the players have to understand it. That is what he said. For so when it comes to discipline, he is there, and it is also part of the criteria that the Ghana Football Association they said that they are going to look at in order to appoint the next coach. So for now, we can confirm that um, Maget or um, Felix Maget, former German coach and former Bayern Munich coach, he has um, former German player, sorry, and Bayern Munich coach, he has actually shown interest in coaching the Black Stars. That is according to Ghana Soccer Net. So that is it. Also on the coach Felix. Maget, who is now showing interest in coaching the current Black Stars team. Now, let me give some shout outs before I take leave of you, but let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Shout outs going now to Nathaniel Diagram. He says, Create Hitting West. Well, interesting. Black Lion was also here. I appreciate you. Gideon Akagbo, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Noah Makla is also on this channel. I have Ima8485. Sika Brantia is also here. NS Tamete Fio is here. Inketia NS is also here. Um, then Emmanuel, Emmanuel um, Sasa is also on this channel. Agana Richard, I appreciate you a lot. Princess Hart is also here. Thomas Afrasikwe C is here. C to Nam, you are also here. Okay, um, let me move on. Vosha Silvano is also on this channel. Then I have, um, is it Nati Nati? Wow, thank you for being here. I appreciate you a lot. Sumi Agogo, you are also on this channel. King Grace, I've seen you. Thank you for being here. Um, King Grace said the day I spoke in war. Per what I saw, it wasn't the day I used post. I think it's a parody account if you are talking about the one on Twitter. That is X. Ajmeni Belinda is also on this channel. Thank you. Ima8484, I think I've mentioned already. Pius Kiss is here. Nat Solutions, you're also on this channel. Look, Mesa TV, GH is here. Hannah Kumsen is also on this channel. King Station is here. Ujabo, you are also here. Richard Barton is here. Tula, the earpiece is present. Um, then I have Imano Am Amani, Ebi Bremo Sem, Gideon Akagbo, um, Amora Jonas is here. Juma Samson is also here. And these are all the comments under the last video. That's all the time I'm recording this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.